a branch of one of Vermont's most successful alcohol and drug recovery centers has been aiming to open in a new location. Today, they got a little help in the fundraising department to speed up the process. And Fox 44's Josh Morrill got a look at how it will all unfold. Well, I'm here on South Main Street in Barrie in front of the next location for the Turning Point Center of Central Vermont and the years long efforts for the center to get into their new location just got a significant fundraising boost. A nice facility. It says it says without words to people. You deserve this. That feeling is what Bob Purvis is trying to bring to the new Turning Point location in central Vermont. After it was announced Thursday, the Drug and Alcohol Recovery Center would receive a $1 million grant from the USDA. He feels better about this journey of four years. Preceding the pandemic, uh, the life was becoming more difficult for people in recovery in central Vermont. That bespeaks the importance of having a single place where people on any pathway to recovery can go and find people doing the same thing. By way of the American Rescue Plan Act, the USDA has now awarded more than $7 million to hospitals and recovery centers in Vermont and New Hampshire to improve their infrastructure. And they say the post-pandemic aid is essential for those in recovery and employees. We're seeing this enduring emergency that is going to go on for a number of years because the business models that our healthcare facilities rely on are, are not sustainable. Purvis, a former addict himself, says Turning Point's current Barry location has helped over 7,000 people in the last year, but has been a less than ideal space for its 10 staff members and has steered away those that want to get better. Our programs have expanded. We've got more community partners we're working with and, and the, our facility is inadequate. Additional state and federal funding sources have helped them raise over $2 million of their $3 million goal, allowing construction of the new 7,000 square foot facility, including a large addition to the existing building to be slated for the end of spring 2023. Vermont has reached a critical mass of attention and knowledge about substance use disorders. They, they see it. And Purvis said the move will give both he and the coaches more space to work with when helping those in recovery. It's going to be nice and solid but simple. When someone goes in there, they're going to feel safe. It will include a room for wellness activities and individual recovery coaching rooms with the goal of helping those in the community defeat a stigma that Purvis once had to overcome himself. They are going to discover that they are better than they thought. And Purvis also said he anticipates that the center will be able to move into their new location about a year after the project begins. Reporting in Barry, Josh Moore, Fox 44 News.